Hi everyone. I have a couple things to open here, so I'm just going to jump right into it. These are both uh, secondhand items, and I knew that this box here contained two secondhand smart doll heads. Um, they are, um, I was going to say they're both company face up, but one of them is, and one of them is a custom face up. And I have a couple bodies just off screen to try them on. Um, and then this, I wasn't exactly sure what it was because I couldn't remember because the package itself is like, it feels like a, <laughs> almost like a cassette tape, but handily on the back is a, dec a custom decoration form and it says doll eyes. So I don't remember if I got one pair or two from this person, um, but if I have to, we can try a couple different pairs onto these blank heads. So, inside here is very nicely packaged from a um, fellow Smart Doll owner here in the US. I bought two heads off of them, like why do I need more floating heads? I don't know. I've been on an eye and head kick lately, which is just, I don't need more heads. But, um, excuse my kind of basic appearance here. I'm just, I'm in my pajamas. So anyway, I bought two heads from Miss Linda. Um, I think her prices were very fair. She did very fast shipping and I think I got it within like two days of her shipping it out. But she is, um, I was going to say she's relatively close to me, but West Virginia to Illinois. So I don't know. Is that close? I feel like that's not as close as I thought she was. So, let's just see what we have here. One, I know you guys are all going to be like, what? No, that's crazy. So one is a Crystal Cortex uh, custom face-up. As you can see there, it kind of has um, like the zombie anomaly look to it with a little bit of green eyeshadow kind of around the eyes. Um, the eyes obviously came with they're really cute. They look kind of reflective and they have like little heart catch lights in them. And you can see in her eye there, my ring light is on behind. So it's kind of catching in her eye there too, but very cute. So why I'm like, why? No, no, no. This is crazy talk. So y'all know and love my little figgy, right? Took me like half a year to put her all together and she's still not totally complete because she's still missing a forearm here or not a forearm an upper shoulder. I would love to have a crystal head cap for her, but the blue actually works okay. And then down here, I still need a, a crystal um, left foot for her. So technically she's still not finished and I've been building her for quite a while. Um, and when Le Linda posted up a couple of items for sale, including these two heads, I am not familiar with Cortex, even though Figgy here has a couple of Cortex pieces on her. There's this piece and then her hand and this foot are all cortex. But um, if you recall from my other videos, I had Miss M uh, <laughs> build her for me. And so I really don't know much about cortex. Cortex was really um, before my uh, deep interest into Smart Doll came about. Like every once in a while, I think cortex parts come out or become available or they come up second hand. I just, I have no Cortex. I don't really know much about it other than the random few pieces I've gotten for, um, figment here. So anyway, here's a crystal head. It is Cortex. So instead of having the typical head cap at the top, it just comes apart, um, completely off the back. You can see the seam line there and it goes all the way around and all the way across the bottom. So you don't have to take it apart. It actually cuts underneath her chin there instead of like going across the circle there but it still has a standard neck hole. So I did ask um, that of Linda, I was like, is it okay to use on a um, standard body and not a crystal body? And she said, yes, that's fine. So let's just take a look at the comparison between these two really quick. So this is the M01. I know there's not a lot of detail there because I haven't done anything with her face up, but I kind of just like her blank. But this one was really cute and I thought, why not have a um, floating head for, Chris, for my crystal body. Like I feel pretty much now I have enough spare heads. Um, 
Oh yeah, that just popped right on. No problem. So basically I have enough spare heads to um, have like two heads for every body that I have, um, which is plenty. I don't, I really don't need any more spare heads and I still have blank heads that I either, you know, I had intentions of um, trying to do face ups myself finally, like very basic just to try. Um, but I've ended up selling or trading a lot of them. I have a few left. Um, and of those that I have left, I've already set aside some that I'd rather have a professional uh, face-up artist do for me. So anyway, it's cute. It's fun to have an anime style um, versus the very much semi-real looking uh, version here. Um, and then this one I could definitely uh, feel more comfortable in putting a wig on her, getting her actual clothes and all that stuff, and, and giving her a look. Whereas with Figment, I feel like she just needs to show off her inner beauty which is her fabulous blue skeleton. So Linda, this head is fantastic. It was super easy to put Cortex onto a standard uh, vinyl body and it'll be fun to kind of discover a look for her and um, see what I can do with her. So that one is really fun. And this, you know, this is actually kind of cool just looking at the back of it. Um, the back of the Cortex head says Smart Doll Designed by Danny Chu, which you just don't see on anything anymore. I don't know if it'll pick it up. Um, it's kind of right across the back so you can see like this circle here but there's printing right across the back there. Yeah you can just kind of see it there in my camera. I think that's kind of neat. It's kind of like I don't want to use the term vintage for Smart Doll yet because Smart Doll has not gotten old enough to be called vintage but just their older discontinued items. Um, you know, it's you can definitely tell there's been a change in uh, their their Smart Doll logo, the the Culture Japan logo, and the way that they printed things. It's it's just neat to see some of the older items um, that just aren't the same looking on the newer uh, items. So then this one, I'm actually super excited about. Again, why do I need <laughs> more spare heads? But um, so you guys know. I have two products, right? The blue and the gray. It's pretty cool to get the gray as a chaos head. And then I put the gray head onto that gray um, chaos kit build, which has the Gen 2 frame and not the Evolve. Still don't have an Evolve frame doll, which who knows when that'll be. But look at what I got, you guys. Look at what I got. This is from Linda also, so it's a second head. It is a Coco Prowess, and she has the... Um, like goldish golden whiskers so I am super thrilled because way back when I got my first Coco girl who is right here I got strength she's still in her um, safari outfit she's freaking adorable I just love her um, I got her she was my first Coco girl and I was really deciding between her and prowess anime version back then when I got her um, what maybe a year or more ago um there was not a semi-real version of prowess available then but i really really had a tough time between um coco prowess and coco strength i ended up going with strength obviously but now that i have two oops there goes figgy well figgy with the cortex head She's fine. She's fine. She can stay down there. Um, anyway, so now that I have two other Paris um, dolls, I can see the appeal of having a collection of kitties. Look at her. She's so adorable. Now, she doesn't have the heterochromia eyes. Is that what it's? I think that's what it is. Um, with the original Paris, where it's like one blue and one green, one yellow and one blue. I don't even know. But it's pretty cool to have... Um, the Golden Whiskers, which I know um, Paris has come out with several different colors of whiskers on various skin tones, especially with the blue. Um, at the end of the run of blue, they did like pink and gold, I think, and then white. And then that very last one was the black or the gray whiskers. So I can see the appeal of having lots of kitties. And the really cool thing about this is, so this is like coming back to what I really debated about with my first Coco Girl between an anime 
and uh, the semi reel, but strength just she just called to me. I just had to have her back then. Um, but now I have the two Coco or the two Paras. I'm adding this one, and the cool thing is what I was trying to get at there is um, I'm looking at my Coco girls, and I realize that I actually only have semi reel Coco dolls as full dolls, and I only have one floating Coco head. That has a face up. Um, I do have a couple other cocoa heads that are not faced up. Um, and that is my Cleo, the Egyptian kind of girl that I got um, from Lupa Face Up. Um, so she is anime, but she doesn't have her own body. So of the three cocoa girls that I have, they're all semi real, but now I have another anime and it's an official one from Smart Doll. So that's kind of cool. And I'm just going to behead strength hair, which I named her Coco, and I know it's not the most <laughs> creative name, but it's actually short for um, a name from a book um, character that I love, and the, whole, the book character is actually a cat, which is funny. Maybe I should rename the prowess to Coco and rename Coco to something else, something a little bit more dignified, but... Um, Anyway, I, um, the Coco name is actually K-O-K-O -K -O instead of Coco, like the Coco skin tone, and, uh, she's just gonna borrow, she's gonna steal Coco's look, her hair, her body, everything. I just want to put her on really quick and see what she looks like, because she's freaking adorable. If I can get this wig to go. The classic pinch with your thumb and pull it back. <laughs> oh, she's freaking adorable. Look at that. She's so cute. Um, thank you, Coco. Yeah, she's headless. Bodiless, I should say. Um, she's really cute, but she's definitely going to need her own look. Um, but I'm super thrilled to have now three Paras type dolls. Um, and, oh, I was trying to explain my name of Coco. It's it's from a book series called The Cat Who, and it was like a series of like almost 30 books, and it was about a guy with two cats who had some really mysterious powers. It, they're great books. Sadly, the author passed away before she finished the series, which just crushes my heart because they were my childhood, and <laughs> I love them, and I still love them. I have every single one. Anyway, that's besides the point. If you ever want to know what Coco stands for, like the long full name, you'd have to read the books because I don't remember exactly what it stands for. It's, it's much, much longer. It's like an Egyptian name or something like that, which makes me want to name her Coco even more and give existing Coco a new name. Something more, I don't know, human or something. So anyway, actually, both of these, here she is kind of bent over because she kind of fell. So um, both heads from Linda had eyes already set in them and then this cortex head had a, a custom face up and then this was the prowess coco head has the smart doll face up so the eyes over there i don't really have a way to test them i don't know if i have a blank head or a head available i suppose i could pause this really quick and see if i can find some eyes but i don't actually know if the eyes that i got uh, will fit smart dolls. So I'm just going to open them up and then if they do, I will pause it and grab a head. So this came from Deutschland. Where is that in the world, people? I don't know. Another wonderful <laughs> secondhand seller. I don't think these were like, I mean, these may be artist eyes. Obviously, somebody made these eyes. Um, but I don't think the person I bought them from was the artist is what I'm getting at. I think they were just reselling a pair of eyes they no longer wanted. And if I recall correctly, I think I had, oh, I hope that's okay. I'm just ripping the paper here. They taped it up really nicely into a, a big envelope like that. Sometimes I feel like a kid on Christmas day just tearing open packages like this. Alright, 
inside another fabulous little envelope and oh, <laughs> some candy what is this this says made in Germany oh so I think my seller was in Germany anti Fulton Beauty Go Complex Vitamin E. <laughs> this looks like, um, I don't know, medicine or beauty products of some sort. But she also sent me a cute little notepad, which I don't know. It says AP and DC. I don't know. It's handy, though. All right, let's open up this packet here. Let's see what we can see about these eyes. Uh, okay. Oh, well, it's kind of handy. So there's the package. Obviously, she used whatever packaging she had on hand, which is perfectly fine. It made the items arrive perfectly safe. So, hey, way to go recycling boxes. I do that all the time. It's just a product-specific box, but you know what? It's fine. All right, let's see kind of cutely wrapped up too with cute little tape and again I'm just gonna have to kind of rip into it let's see let's see okay I'm getting there people these eyes again they may not fit or be the right size oh look she actually sent along a little cloth which is nice it's like a little microfiber cloth that used to clean um, glasses, so I think that these could be um, glass eyes. And this may not be very super visible in my lighting, but they are bluish with something set in there. So they are 20 millimeter, um, which probably could work for um, potentially either semi-real or anime. Alright, let's see what's in here. Very, very securely packaged. Now, I got it out of the second, like, her wrapping. So you can see in there, they're definitely blue, and there's that white, like, sparkle. So there's a white gemstone in the middle there. And now it reminds me of exactly what um, I had intentions for with this. This pair of eyes. So see if I can get it all the way out of the packaging to show you guys and there is like I said I, I think that I bought this just second hand from somebody I don't think this was the actual artist um, so it says 20 millimeter and they're definitely like glass eyes and on the back uh, it says Labo L-A-B-O see if you guys can see this you can see how there's like a, I know my camera makes it a little blurry. Um, it's almost like a little flower set in there. It kind of looks icy. They're really, really beautiful. Let me see if I can show you guys this in the other direction so you can kind of see. So there is like, I don't know if it's actual flower, but it could be, it could very well be. Since these are glass, um... They could have, like, set, like, the blue iris. That was the word I was looking for the other day that I couldn't think of. And then the pupil is, like, um, like a gemstone, and it's just white or crystal clear. And then um, there is this, like, flower set in there, which the reason that these appeal to me is because uh, I follow sort of this artist called Miyabi Glass. They only list their eyes up as far as I know that I've come across on Yahoo Japan and their eyes like they're always for auction and they usually go for very decent prices for a pair of eyes like 60 70 bucks depending and a lot of times they will set real cherry blossoms like little tiny petals in there into their um, 
the setting and I assume it, because it's an artist in Japan it's actual Japanese cherry blossoms which really appeals to me because I just everything that the cherry blossom represents to Japan um, is just so beautiful to me and so I love seeing the Miyabi glass eyes and I've been on a few here or there but I have never won a set so this was um, very similar to feel to me with these flowers set in here and my idea is to um, I kind of made a post about it on Facebook gosh I'm really rambling I'm sorry um, but I have four now five um, prophecy heads one of them was blue it was not an actual prophecy but I had um, a face of artist who was willing to um, do the work to modify it to make a, a trident prophecy head like the third eye opening in the last blue blank head that I had um, and I want each one of these heads these prophecy heads to be excuse me elemental like and I was thinking that their third eye could um, be representative of that element with like um, I was thinking like a crystal inset into each eye because you see a lot of eyes like that where they'll have the little crystal in there this one does have a white crystal but it's very blue and then that little flower in there could look very snowflake-ish gosh they're so pretty anyway at any rate I was thinking that these could be the good third eye for my um, blue prophecy once I get her um, so I don't really have anything to set it in but I can maybe find a head with a potential face up or something just to take a look and see what it looks like inside of a head so let me pause this for a moment and get a head okay so I found I pulled out my two prophecy heads that I have still here that don't have face ups so they're both blank so this is a purple one it's resin printed it's from um, Cherry X Treasures I, I'm pretty sure I did I showed this in the box opening that did of the Alice weapons they were 3d printed he also 3d printed this head so um, there's no face up there but um, I just put in some green eyes and then this kind of like sparkly red eye I don't know what element this one's gonna represent plus I have a blue or I should say purple smart doll body so I don't know what's to become of her but I really I just love the idea of a purple smart doll I know in all my videos she looks pink but she she's like a mauve is that the right is that the right word it's between pink and purple she's fantastic I adore her so anyway here is um, a blank T uh, prophecy sculpt you know I don't really know are they called prophecy or trident so I know that maybe they're the trident sculpt oh it does say 201 so they're trident sculpts but the one that comes with a face up I think is referred to as prophecy um, I happen to have that was my um, here's the eye again you guys can see that little like floral detail and then the crystal and then the blue oh my gosh it's so pretty all right so let's see if it fits so it actually does fit pretty nicely for the third eye um, but with the flower in there it almost looks I don't know a little odd so it may not work I wanted it to be a pretty like as a nice little detail and I'll still try it once I get um, oops once I get the blue uh, head back that the artist is doing not only did they agree to modify my last blue blank head um, but they agreed to do a face up too I guess it could work maybe I'll have to see how I like it once I get the intended head but I do know um, I actually found a, oops a seller on Etsy um, that does like colored eyes with the similar colored crystal and so I could probably get what I need um, from that seller if I need to like each of the colors that I want oh but these eyes are so cool let's see if I can show you guys what it looks like without messing around with putty too much 
because that will take me forever and I don't want to like sit here and struggle with it. Of course, it's not easy to. Come on now. That's here. I am struggling just with trying to get eyes to sit in the eye wells. Okay. <laughs> um, I cut this head probably so. Or if I didn't, maybe somebody else did. I can tell that the eye wells are not the best cut ever. At least not for the main eyes. For the third eye, it's actually pretty decently cut. But that's probably because that eye is slightly bigger than... Alright, let's see if I can... <laughs> it's pretty neat, huh? I know, that's a terrible way to hold a doll head. I'm like breaking my arms. All right, I can't do it. But anyway, you get the idea. These are really cool eyes. And if I can't end up using them for the idea that I have, I'll figure something else out for it. So a couple eyes and a couple of heads which were ready to go. Eyes already set in there and everything. Um, anyway, that's my video for tonight. It was really quick. Thank you to my secondhand sellers. Um... Linda and what's the name of the person on here? Chi Chiju. Thank you. I really love these things and I'll be excited to put them to good use. And um, definitely I'm going to take a picture of my three Paras together now and super happy to have um, an official Coco girl with an official face up from Smart Doll Land. Or anime Coco Girl. Because I did have the other anime Coco Girl um, with the custom face up. So, anyway, yay, there's some late night Dolly stuff. It's like midnight for me right now. Um, so, thank you for watching and let me know what you think. Or if you have any ideas as a name for this um, Crystal Girl. So, thank you. Have a good night, everybody. Good morning, whatever it is for you. Bye.